Okay, so let's practice the D major octaves. So let's practice first, uh, let's just do the bottom and we'll repeat each one and slur it into the next one. So just practicing the shifts. So starting on the D, it'll be D to E, first finger, shift up to F sharp with first finger, up to G, first finger, now open A, go back to first, First finger on B, shift up to C sharp, relax your fingers, don't squeeze, up to D, first finger, and then up to E, first finger, back to D, lighten up the finger on the shift, back to B, first finger, lighten the finger, shift up to third, one on G, F sharp, first finger, Up to F sharp, G, A first position, first finger B, one on C sharp, one on D, one on E, one on F sharp, one, these are all one, right? This is first finger only. if it's a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, make sure your hand is high enough, one, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, okay, so that's getting comfortable with the shifting, so now let's do the, th the same thing with the top. So we'll start on third finger on D on the A string. Okay, ready, and so three, now four, and up to F sharp whole step with fourth finger, half step to G. Now go to first position, third finger on A, four on B, C sharp four, up a half step to D, up a whole step to E. Again, lighten your finger. Don't go. Don't press it, right? So C sharp, lighter, B, three on A. Now go up to third position. Four, 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 four. Make sure your thumb is going with you. B, up to C sharp 4, keep your frame of your hand, don't be all crazy, right? Whole step to F sharp, half step to G, half step to F sharp, whole step to E, whole step to D, half step to C sharp, whole step to B, third finger, up to third position, four, back to A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Okay, so you keep going that way, okay? So you do the whole thing that way. And then let's do bottom top together. And take your time, but really connect it. Make it legato. Don't put big rests. So really connect your bow. So we're going to do D, D together and tune to the bottom. So take as much time as you need. You can go a little lower, a little higher. bottom. So we're 
adjusting the fourth finger. Okay, then F sharp. Then adjust to the bottom. G. Now open A, first position. Three. Tune to the open A. Up to second position, C sharp. So I had to adjust my fourth finger, bring it lower. Then third position. So our fingers get closer together as we go up. Fourth position. You can check with open E. And back down to third. your bow going. Don't stop your bow. And down to B. First position. And then third position. One on G. Remember, don't press the fingers down hard. As light as you can to make the pitch speak. F sharp, one on F sharp, so our second position, then third position, first position, connect your bow, don't stop your bow, you can always repeat the bottom note again, so you hear that in tune as well. So repeat the bottom C sharp up to D. And then repeat the bottom up to E. Up to F sharp. That's fifth position. So here my fingers are much closer than they were in first position. Down to F sharp. Down to E. So we feel our fingers getting farther apart as we go down. We're on the third measure now. Okay, so that's one way. Then you can also fill in major sixth, major seventh. So that would be like this. We play, and then don't worry about the key for the major sixth and major seventh. We're just worried about whole step, whole step, half step across strings. We're not worried about the key for those two notes, but the octaves will stay the correct for the key signature. So that means we'll play D. Major sixth would be B. Major sixth would be C sharp. And then D is our octave. Play E, so C sharp, so whole step across strings, whole step across strings, then a half step. Repeat our E, F sharp, so the whole step will be D sharp, E sharp, F sharp. G, E is our whole step, F sharp, whole step. Talking about across strings. A, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, G sharp, A sharp, B. Tune in. Make 
sure you're active is right. I'm speeding up a little more just so you can hear what it is. Sounds like you can do it as slow as you need to to start. I'm trying to feel that distance of the hands. helps you feel the distance in the fingers and feels like wider in lower positions, closer together in upper positions. And then you can practice each one and slur it into the next one. So you'll repeat each octave and we'll slur it. So we're getting the connection with the bow being smooth instead of stopping our bow. So we'll play D. Then we'll repeat the D octave and go into the E. Repeat E and go into F sharp. We're not stopping our bow. And into G. And into A. Let the first finger lead. So we're tuning to the first finger. you can drift to that is slurring two, so without repeating. So slurred into E, then switch bows F sharp, G, then A, B, C sharp, D, E, D, C sharp, faster of course you can do it vibrato so vibrato can help you uh, relax your hands but it can also hide intonation so I would practice without that at first then you can do four per bow so Distance. You can do it faster, you can do different bowings that they have in the flesh. So this is again just thinking of really relaxed fingers, thinking of your frame and focusing on tuning to the bottom note. Okay, happy practicing.